everyone. This is Yvette from My World of Metaphysics. And today we're going to talk about another powerful manifesting technique called scripting. Listen, we've done and spoke about this topic before, but I get so many questions about scripting. I thought I would come back to you and do another video, a scripting one-on-one. -on -one. Now, listen, if you're serious about changing your life and wanting to know how to do these things, please watch this video all the way to the end. And if you're new to this channel, this is a manifesting law of attraction metaphysical channel that gives all the information you need in one spot. So like, subscribe, and tap the bell if you guys want more videos on these type of subjects. Now let's get started. I'm back everyone. Now what is it that I have to tell you about scripting and how it can change your life. Now I'm gonna give you some pointers in this video to help you along your way, okay? And answer some of the questions that people send me in the comment section. Now, everybody has seen my green scripting book. I just love this book. But you can use anything that you have in your house or in the neighborhood store. Some people even script using a plain notebook. And that is okay. Whatever it is you're using, it's not what you're writing on. It's basically your intent. Now, the next thing I want to clear up before we go any further, anything you get on this channel, you must take action. I am not one of those people out there that's telling you to do certain things, lie in the bed, and just hope it falls out of the sky. You will not get that on this channel. These techniques work, but you must take action in the direction where you want your life to go, okay? So now, before starting to do any scripting, there's a couple of things that I want you to do. First is to have something to write in. Second, write with. And then I want you to find a quiet place in your home anywhere where you can do scripting. Some of you might find your quiet place to be your car. It doesn't matter as long as you have some place that you designate as your place for doing your scripting. Now, besides having something to write in, something to write with, and a quiet place, I do need you guys to know what it is that you want. Now, a lot of you might say, well, I bet I want a million dollars. Yes, but why do you want the million dollars? What do you want to do with this million dollars, okay? That is what you truly want. Financial freedom, to help your family, to buy a new house, to buy a new car, whatever it is, please know what you want and why you want it. Because the why is what's going to be the driving force that gets you where you want to be. Now, besides writing what it is that you want, I want you to write it in present tense as if it is already done. Now, this is very important and is crucial to your success. You have to write what it is that you want as if you already have it. You re Remember, your subconscious mind don't know the difference between what is real and what is not. It just knows what you're giving it in experience. So whatever it is you're paying attention to in your life is what you are giving to your subconscious mind. So when you are doing scripting, you need to write out whatever it is in present tense as if it is already done. Now, the next thing I want to bring to your attention is that when you are writing, if it's a, a long page or a half a page, I need you to be as detailed as possible, okay? When I say detailed, I mean, how would it feel? How would it be if this was actually true? Don't just write words out. I need you to state, I am feeling very happy at this moment. I just came home to my brand new home, three bedrooms, three bathrooms, wooden floors, a two-car garage, whatever. Whatever it is that you want. But I want you to put in the feelings. What would you feel? What would it be like if this was actually true? Whatever it is for you to make this as real as possible, you write that down, okay? And we're gonna keep moving on now, you guys. 
When I say detail, you can put down the color of the car, the color of the interior, the smell, the loudness, the quality of the radio, the large tires, whatever it is, you write it out as if this is true and you're looking at it at this moment. Now, one thing that I want to go over that I get a lot of questions about everyone, and that is, Yvette, can you say it over again so I can just write it down word from word? No. If this is what you truly want, you just speak from what it is that you want. I can't tell you what you want. None of us can. Write down in your own words how you speak what it is you want as if it is already done. You, some people get into this thing where they feel like they have to use large words or words that they basically don't even understand or don't even want to pronounce. But they write it anyway because someone else told them to. Your manifestations will work better if you use your own words. You write as you speak. And listen, you guys, this is where it is powerful because you're using what it is inside of you and projecting it out on the paper. Now, once you finish writing this, what are you going to do with this? This is where I get so many questions. Even how long do I do it? Seven days? Do I do it once and that's it? Do I do it for 30 days? What do I do, Yvette? And then after I do it, what do I do with the paper afterwards? You can write it every single day, as if you're writing out your story of your life. Another way of doing it, you can write it once and read it two or three times a day, okay? Another way you can do it, you can write small affirmations and, re and rewrite it three times a day or do the three, six, nine. Write it three times in the morning, six times in the afternoon, and nine times at night. All of these are ways to use scripting. There is no right and wrong. If you want to write it once and read it three times, that is, there is no problem with that. You're mixing scripting with affirmations. If you want to write it three times a day, there's nothing wrong with that. If you want to do the 369, there's nothing wrong with that. So basically, there is no wrong way of doing this once you start writing things out. Whatever you're doing, I need you to do it on a daily basis to absolutely keep that energy and that power flowing so that the universe opens up the doors for you as you take action again towards your destination. Now, here's a little tip. What works for me is that not only writing it out, Okay, but reading it, I'm going to tell each and every one of you, whatever it is that you're writing verbally out loud, speak or read what it is that you just wrote down. Again, we're combining scripting and affirmations. So as you're writing something and you finish, read it out loud and read it as if it is already done, everyone as this is the happiest moment in your life. Now, another question that I get, I get the question of, Yvette, can I write multiple things at one time? And I'm going to tell you, you can do that. I try not to, but you can do it. You can write your story as if it is your entire life. Like, thank you, God, for blessing me with my new husband. We are now in our brand new home, three bedrooms, three bathrooms. We have a two car garage where we have in there two brand new cars. He has a range, I have a BMW, and we are fine. At this moment, we have two children. They are, be, they are very successful in school and we are living the time of our lives. We are traveling all over the world. You can do this as you're scripting and write this out your entire life. Now, another thing that I want to tell you guys that actually helps you with your scripting and basically helps to impregnate whatever it is that you want into your subconscious mind. And that is by doing things that make you happy. I mean, dancing, singing, um, playing music, whatever it is that you love to do can help you with your manifestations. 
If you just got finished dancing or laughing or doing something, pull out the book and just start writing, okay? Write as if it is already done and let it go. Now, when you finish doing your script and when you finish writing, I do need you to say, thank you, God. Give gratitude to the universe. I need you to say, so it is done or so mote it be. Whatever it is, because you're putting a stamp on whatever it is that you just wrote, as if you are saying this is already done and so it is. So now let me give you an example of what I would write in my journal if I wanted a new home. It would be something like, thank you God for blessing me with my new home. I now have three bedrooms, three bath, two car garage, and I am happy. Thank you, God, and so it is. Okay, so basically this is what I would do. Thank you God for blessing me with my new home. I now have three bedrooms, three bath, three car garage, two car garage, and I am very happy. Thank you God, and so it is. Now, this is something very simple, but that's how long it takes to do scripting. Okay everyone, this is Yvette from My World of Metaphysics and we just went over scripting. If you want to know more about scripting and you want to see more videos, I have an entire playlist on scripting on my homepage. So please go there. If you want to know anything else about My World of Metaphysics, please go to the description. And if you want to watch more videos, watch the next video or go to the homepage. Again, don't forget to like, subscribe, and tap the bell. Again, namaste.